There was once a young man who wanted to learn the art of Zen. He travelled to a remote monastery and asked the master to accept him as a disciple. The master agreed, but warned him that the path of Zen was not easy and required a lot of patience and perseverance. The young man was eager to learn and followed the master's instructions diligently. He practiced meditation, read scriptures and performed chores around the monastery. He also observed the other monks and noticed that they were all kind and respectful to each other, except for one. This monk was always rude, arrogant and selfish. He would often bully the younger monks, criticize the older ones and complain about everything. He never helped with any work and always demanded the best food and clothes. He also seemed to have a special grudge against the young man and would mock him at every opportunity. The young man was puzzled by this monk's behavior and wondered why the master tolerated him. He decided to ask the master about it one day. Master, he said, I have learned a lot from you and the other monks, but there is one thing that bothers me. Why do you allow that monk to stay here? He is so mean and unpleasant. He does not follow any of the rules of Zen. He is a bad influence on everyone. Shouldn't you expel him from the monastery? The master smiled and said, My son, you have just named one of the five kinds of people you must avoid in life. He is what we call a toxic person. He is full of negativity and tries to drag others down with him. He is unhappy with himself and projects his misery onto others. He does not appreciate anything and only sees faults in everything. Then why do you keep him here? The young man asked. Because he is also a great teacher for you, the master said. He teaches you how not to be like him. He teaches you how to be patient, tolerant and compassionate. He teaches you how to deal with difficult people and situations. He teaches you how to maintain your peace and joy in spite of his presence. He teaches you how to grow stronger and wiser through adversity. He is a challenge for you to overcome. The young man was amazed by the master's answer and realized that he had learned a valuable lesson. The master continued, There are four other kinds of people you must avoid in life. The liar who deceives you with false words and promises. The cheater who takes advantage of you with unfair actions and schemes. The hater who envies you with malicious thoughts and feelings. The quitter who discourages you with pessimistic views and opinions. These people will also try to harm you in different ways, but they are also opportunities for you to learn and grow. You must be careful not to fall into their traps, but also not to hate them or fear them. You must be wise enough to recognize them, but also compassionate enough to forgive them. You must be strong enough to resist them, but also humble enough to learn from them. The young man thanked the master for his wisdom and vowed to follow his advice. He continued his journey of Zen with more awareness and confidence. He avoided the five kinds of people who could ruin his life, but also appreciated them for teaching him valuable lessons. He became a better person because of them.